Absolutely, yeah, at least for most spots outside. This is one of the exceptions, though, Jody. Uh, you head down to Lamoni right now from the shot looking uh, over the interstate there just in the distance. Still pretty overcast down in that part of Iowa. But then if you head farther north and west, we've got clear blue skies, especially up north. Algonia, see there, Marshalltown, West Des Moines, all pretty much clear as a bell. Southeast Iowa still dealing with those low clouds. Low clouds tend to be pretty stubborn. It takes a lot to really get them out of here entirely, even once you have quite weather. So those will slowly erode as we go through the rest of today, but you can make out a little bit of a difference in temperatures now as we head past lunchtime. Only 41 Lamoni and Sheraton. You head up to Des Moines, upper 40s there, and most of the rest of Iowa in the upper 40s. Atlantic out west already sneaking up to 50. Most of us will get up into the 50s here next few hours because the winds will stay pretty light. The skies will stay pretty dry and sunny. We'll get rid of those last few clouds, and it'll be a pretty tranquil afternoon, pretty tranquil night here as well, too. Maybe just a few clouds clouds overnight tonight. Tomorrow on Wednesday, much the same. We're just going to slowly shift our winds around from this kind of slightly cool northerly direction we've had today to more of a southeasterly direction tomorrow. And I think we'll have a few more high level clouds start to drift in from the west. That shift in winds comes ahead of our next weather system, which is coming in here later on this week. So 50s today, more 50s tomorrow. That's a good 10 plus degrees warmer than normal. And we'll actually probably see even more 50s ahead of that chance of rain that comes in here probably later Thursday. It's going to be an area of low pressure that sets up over the central plains and that low is probably going to track south of Iowa. That means we're going to be on the cool side of this system, so probably no thunderstorms, probably some showers that move in here second half of Thursday, so Thursday evening into Thursday night. Probably Thursday night, Friday morning looks like the wettest time frame from this next weather maker and can't completely rule out parts of maybe western and northwest Iowa seeing a few snowflakes or a little bit of you know non-liquid precipitation mixing in here late Thursday night and then maybe late Friday afternoon as the cooler air starts to come in on the back side of this system as it pulls away second half of Friday. But Thursday night into Friday could be a little bit damp. Right now, still some indications of a half an inch or more of rainfall, especially across the southern half of Iowa. And then we're right back into the warm up. The outlook headed into most people's spring break next week looks still above average. 40s are normal highs this time of year, and it looks like we'll get maybe at least a few days of some 60s or warmer as it comes as we head towards next week. So no major chill in the eight day forecast. The main rain chance is that system later this week.